you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. New next up list, everybody, going into the off season. Um, I'm going to read off the top ten, if that's cool with you guys. Absolutely. Um, sure. So the t so the only the top ten vote getters are ranked. The rest of them are not ranked. So you might see a graphic. It's once after it's ten. There's a few that receive votes. There's a few that the scouts like or the people we have working on next up have put on there. But um, the top ten are the ones that had the ten most votes. It's not in order after that. Just so everyone knows. So the top ten dominated by North America. That's I'm right. so proud. I'm I mean, it so has happy. been the entire season, yeah. honestly. There's so much young talent in NA that has still to prove yet to prove themselves in in the Cling to your hope, North American yep. stands. Oh, yeah. I love Absolutely. my speculative American economy. I mean, it's not just Keep hope investing anymore, in really. Nvidia stocks. It's I'm sure it'll work. True, true. <laughs> it's, it's not here. just hope. They literally won the major. Yeah. Um. So number one, I don't think is, is I think is unsurpri unsurprising. It's Scribbles from Snowman. I think he's the most hyped prospect uh, in the world right now. Wavy, who honestly is only here because they didn't qualify for the last event. Power move to keep yourself on the thing is intentionally miss the last event so you stay at five and not hit that six. Um, Tech Oz is EU's highest ranked player, obviously the Carmine Corp Demon, uh, number three. Frosty and Reveal come in four and five, respectively. Uh, Scribbles' his teammates on the Snowman, who to Hootie's, uh, to Hootie's delight have this apparently started to stick together. They'll be playing in the, uh, in the qualifier together. Um, Eugen, who I remember made uh, top 16 with Yukio, I think. Um, is number six. Kofir, uh, who we just said is going to be playing with NRG at number seven. Um, Tempo from EU. And then uh, we finished off with a pair of Team Rock players, or I think they've they've been released. So, But ex-Team Rock players, uh, Ops, and Dr. Known. And then right off it, we have other players receiving votes are Triton, Emil Vald, Hazo, Daunt, Gom, G-Man, Nush, Reese Fox, Charlie B, Skippy, Nico, Goat, Test show, the 14-year-old uh, from SSA. Realize, NA Realize, not the veteran from APAC. Uh, Panda, PNDH, Grandma, and Flaco, whose name sounds like Seiko and is French, so will probably be end up being the best from <laughs> list. There you go. Um, there's also a bunch of other ones you can go look. Uh, fellas, uh, wait, let's say we're going into next year. We, eight months or whatever it is, six months, we, we snap our fingers. Which one of these players do you think is going to be the one that everyone's like the drawly where it's like, man, if he's on a top team now, if he can put things together, like which, which player on here do you think has the best chance? Um, Eugen. I, 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 I like that. Eugen I is like filthy. I'm, I'm actually going to keep going. Tempo is filthy. Emil is filthy. Mozzarella. Watch him. Grandma. Watch him. Uh, like these are a lot of players that I've been seeing play twos. I've been uh, fortunate enough to uh, have them feature them one v ones on the stream. They are absolutely filthy. And and here's the thing that I think is most encouraging. It's funny because I I see Twitter pulled up on the side and Jane Apps is actually talking uh talking up his his friend Talk. I don't know if Talk has made the list yet. A fellow Nova he's Scotian. On here. He's, he's on, he's on there. there. Yeah. But but yeah, one on of my here. favorite things about these players that arrive on this next step list is when you have current or you know long time pros that are like hey this kid is the truth hmm. he's next up you need to be paying attention i love when we see that the the older the older generation kind of showing love to the new ones and i see that all over the place for players like eugen mozzarella um of yeah, course those NA is... players that we've talked about and and watch them play the snowman squad yeah. kofer mm -hmm. i think is another one um lots of exciting exciting talent on the come up in the rock absolutely the quality in EU is so there, unreal. But the quantity in NA is staggering. Yeah, mm. we've got. It some... feels like we're on the the verge of an avalanche. That's not a snowman pun. <laughs> we've got talk from Canada. We've got uh, also four um, American like US players who have not had any uh, top sixteen experience yet. Um, made it on the list though. That's Martin, I guess you pronounce it, MRTN, Pigeon, Scythe, and Fast. All very young, mm, very uh, young. Quite, quite talented. We still have to see, you know, what kind of quality we have there. But they, they're on the, on the next up, top 15, top 50 at least. And, you know, I am so happy. We started talking about this on Shiftcast at the start of the season, about how North America 
looked defeated, looked beaten by EU, and it was just over for them. <laughs> but it is over. so not over. We're so barack. It's crazy to see how many uh, North American players have come up throughout this year and how the entire region has really proven themselves again you know because it, it feels like they've always been there but they needed to prove themselves yeah, they again and they it. did yeah. yeah it feels like the the we're it feels like we're entering uh and almost I, I said this in the last episode when you guys hear it feels like almost reverse rlcs x where mm. now it's na that has the team that is just beaten down yeah. on everybody and yeah. just looks unde- unbeatable when they're on and it's it's raising the collective level because the best right. team is in that region so they you have so to important. get to that level right yeah um and then on europe you have a bunch of teams that are really good that could beat them that could win and that feels a lot like back when you had envy and g2 and nrg and ssg and now we have the four french teams they're better right. than those teams were i think but um yeah you, i think that's a big part of it is you needed you know, you needed a mode, so to speak. Oh. To set the tempo for <laughs> NA um, and, uh, and, and get these young players. I'm just going to say quickly, to me, just because he's further along in his development and has a reputation, I think Wavy's got the best chance to get picked up by two top players um, as sort of like the, yeah. the, the next chronic, it, it, so to speak. Like, I could see him ending up on OG. I could see any, him ending up with like two piece and Justin. Um, and so I think that he's going to be the one that is most likely to be put in a position to be that next sort of like drawly chronic sphinx type player. So I'm going to say uh, wavy, but it's not that I think he's like the most talented. I think you're right about Eugen. It just feels like in Europe, the top French players are all like, we're just going to shuffle each other around. Yeah. There's only one or two players that came into those top four teams uh, and they exchanged. Uh, who's the one player that left? I guess a chronic for one of them. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, I got wavy. I, I, I think... Wavy is a really good shout, not just because he's proving himself on the field right now, mm. but I'm going to tap the sign again, but just this, to, this yeah. time, not before, because the player has been dropped, but because Wavy has a good chance to make it on, on the top team. I'm not, not saying uh, TSM is, is a bad team, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, he, Where... he seems like he wants to work, he wants to learn, right. and he seems right. nice to be around, which like is he... apparently impossible for Rocket League players, <laughs> fucking one in a million, excuse my language. Um, but you know, yeah. you need some mentality that can work oh, with yeah. a lot of other players, and he has that. On the other hand, you have someone like Scribbles who is just incredibly young. Mm. So, even though it's very hard to say right now where he'll end up, he has so much time to grow into uh, a Rocket League player that everyone wants to team with, that everyone wants to reach the top with. That I, I s- still have, I would, I would say, Scribbles for me. Is, is the pick for player who can actually really make it. Maybe not as soon as someone like Wavy, but mm. maybe he can go even further because he's already where he is right now at, at, a, at 14 years old, which is incredible. Yeah, totally. I don't know what you guys are doing. Or you're not picking French players. <laughs> the evidence is there, folks. I got, we, got, we got people. <laughs> Apparently, I, there's whispers. There's whispers that, that, that France might fall soon. So I, I'm, I'm sticking with America. I mean, the, the top, top 10 is ranked, and there's only one French player in the top 10. Well, uh, I, we, I was talking about something. this earlier today. Listen, I'm not going to disrespect the French. I'm not disrespecting the French. I will wait to see if we have another year where like six once in a generation players come up at the same yeah, time yeah. from France. That's crazy, dude. Because that yeah. might have been a one time thing. And that's fine. And they're going to run the league for the next four years, five years. But <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen every year. Okay. Well, they can Bucky have you. Lucky Moon had control for Seiko. two years. He's passed yeah. it off. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, like Seiko kind of came in as his own as a French player because, yeah. uh, Zen and Vatir and all them. So, so he maybe Eugen's like next year Seiko, where there's like yeah. an avalanche after him. We all start to know. You know who we are underrating? Who? Still exotic. Yeah. Exotic? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's still he's chronically he's underrated. nowhere near done in, well, yeah, in uh, but French he's, he, I mean, he's gonna win the world championship next year with Zen. So it's, it's whatever. Thank you for watching this segment of the Shift Cast. Again, you can catch the full episode here on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching.